Hey, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com, and today I'm going to cover low T. Uh, I've got a number of emails from people asking about this term they're seeing on television with the pharmaceutical companies are pushing pretty hard called low T, and of course all that stands for is uh, testosterone deficiency or low testosterone. Uh, but the question really is, is it a legit uh, syndrome because of course uh, the pharmaceutical industry is pushing pretty hard on this one and a lot of times they push hard on things that are mostly invented by them. Uh, this is not really one of them. Low T is a true, sy uh, true syndrome. It really does exist. There's millions of men with, with low testosterone. The problem, however, is that the majority of the men with low testosterone have this problem due to lifestyle decisions, lifestyle issues. Uh, obviously, uh, poor diets, lack of exercise, possible medications, uh, obesity uh, plays a strong factor. So the issue is, is low T a problem for a lot of men today? And the answer is yes, but like a lot of other issues out there, such as obesity, such as a high percentage of type 2 diabetes and such, these are lifestyle problems. And so you can, in a large number of cases, correct low T with the proper lifestyle changes, in which I have covered in another video, which I'll link to, which discusses the, the actual legit natural ways of increasing testosterone. Now, so that, that covers that. However, that doesn't cover uh, a large group of men that do have low testosterone, not apparently due to anything uh, lifestyle related. That is, they are uh, lean, they exercise, they eat well, and there is a surprisingly high number of men with low testosterone who do not appear uh, to be the cause, not caused by their uh, lifestyle. And theoretically, or this actually may, may be growing. There's been data for a number of decades that suggests that the average testosterone men has been going down for a long time. Now, that data has been questioned. It's not that conclusive, but there is fairly good data to suggest that men had much higher testosterone level on average, say 50 years ago, than they do now. And no one is quite sure why that is. It's not really clear as to what the cause is whether it's uh, xenoestrogens in our food supply, uh, whether it's sociological, because again, men do generate testosterone very, very much so based on, on what's going on around them uh, from a sociological perspective, a social perspective. Uh, there, there's probably a number of causes. I can, what I can assure you is there's no one cause. This is a complicated issue, and like other diseases or other syndromes, it is multifactorial. So it is probably a combination of a number of things causing men to have low testosterone. And again, a large percentage of men with low testosterone is lifestyle issues and they can correct that, but there's a surprising number of men that I am in touch with all the time who really don't have any reason be due to their age, due to their activity level, that they should have such low testosterone. So it's still worth getting checked. If you read articles on the Brink Zone, you'll see I am definitely a proponent uh, of having adequate testosterone levels, having optimal testosterone levels, for sure. Um, that's something, I do have a number of videos and a number of articles. Now, the other interesting area that I deal a lot with is in military uh, and in police. And there's a surprising number of military that I have been in uh, regular contact with that are, again, fairly young guys in really good condition, eating decent enough diets who have really low testosterone. And again, it's really unclear what is causing this. Uh, there are some theories, some of them being perhaps chemicals uh, that they are exposed to when being deployed. Uh, it's, there's also an interesting theory, hypothesis, that uh, the high level of um, explosives that they are exposed to, that is the IEDs that normally might have killed them, but with today's technology they live, uh, are survived through a lot of these, and it is, is damaging their pituitary, and therefore they are unable to produce uh, testosterone and some other hormones. IGF-1, a growth hormone, appears to be another. And that's, uh, again, that's hypothesis, that's not established science at this time, but there is a number of avenues looking as to why there appears to be some really hormonal disturbances in a larger percentage of the military population than one might expect. So the answer to that question that I've gotten a number of times is yes, low T is a legitimate syndrome. There is a large percentage of men with low testosterone, and it's always worth getting your testosterone checked as well as other hormones, and that can be found on the Brink Zone. But uh, there's also a percentage of men, and I, don't, I couldn't give you a what percentage of men per se, but there's a high percentage of men who have not apparently done anything incorrect lifestyle-wise with low testosterone, and there is yet another subgroup of them, uh, military and such, that I have, have been in touch with, 
and have tried to do my best to help them correct their low T and give them pointers to do that, but a lot of times they really do end up having to go to uh, a medical professional to get that taken care of. So hopefully that answers the question about low T, and if this uh, info helped, please you know hit the likes and uh, twit this out to your buds and all that, and I'll see you all in the gym.